Hello and welcome to the BHI Terror Watch where we uplift the only one true name of the Father. I. Am. And the only true name of the Son Jesus Christ. That's right. Jesus. And we uplift the one and only true living Holy Spirit. The one and only Comforter. And we give double honors to the real elders, the real teachers and evangelists that teach and preach God's truth and the real salvation through Christ Jesus from the street corners of our local towns to the four corners of the earth. And greetings and salutations to all the brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ that preach, teach and live the world of the Most High, His statutes and His commandments and the faith of Jesus Christ in sincerity, spirit and truth. And to all sinners, skeptics, non-believers, and especially you black Hebrew Israelite, also welcome we thank you today for taking time to think outside of your hard-hearted box of non-belief and sin. Now we at the BHI Terror Watch have consistently pointed out that black Hebrew Israelite and especially one West black Hebrew Israelite groups love to talk about the doctrine that not only are blacks the real Jews but also Hispanics and Native Americans. But to this date you never see or note any more than a token pure Torican of a very light complexion or maybe a stream Mexican. But never a real Brazilian or Gatamaline or a pure native Indian. Now we at the BHIT have discovered a video from the ISUPK that claims to have a Native American speaker quote unquote evangelizing to their target audience. I call out of water. You are not equal to him. You are a special people, man. You are above every nation on this earth, black man. It's better than the American Indian, man. You are better than the Chinese, the Japanese, the Africans. You're better than every other nation on this planet. You got it? Breathe. Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. That which is crooked can't be made straight, man. Everything is crooked in America, man. And it can't be made straight. Meaning what? Something that is off or something that is wrong can't be changed into right. Like homosexuality. Homosexuality is crooked. But the white man says it's a total lifestyle. Lesbianism. That's crooked. But he says it's a total lifestyle. Eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. He's saying that's a delicacy. Those are crooked things that can't be made straight. Why? Because the Lord said if a man sleep with another man as he does with womankind, both of them have committed an abomination and shall surely be put to death. The Lord said that the, a man shall not wear what pernate pertain to a woman. America is crooked. All the laws in America. Everything in America is crooked. Because you can do anything under the sun and you can, and you can get away with it. The white man be killing all these nations throughout time, even through his own history, man, and he has not paid for it. He killed 77 million Native American Indians. He has not paid for that. He killed 99 million blacks during the translated slave trade. He has not paid for that, man. You should not, we should not be following these, these laws and these customs in America, man. Because why? Because it's not for us. It wasn't made for us. You look in the white man's constitution. He still called black men three-fifths of a man. That's right. You are the one in those fields picking cotton. You was the fields, you was the ones in yokes and chains, man. You was the ones that had to be in that hot sun, working. You still in captivity right now, having two jobs, three jobs, working eight hours, 24 hours. And he said, you're three-fifths of a man. The white man can't even work out in the sun, man. You should have seen, you should have seen yesterday all them white people in D.C. All of them was in the sun. All of them was red like a cherry. All of them was red like a cherry. They can't be in the sun for more than 20 minutes, more than 15 minutes. They can't do labor like you can't do, man. They can't work like you can't. They, you the one that built this nation, man. You the one that built America. America is the, is the greatest country on the face of the earth because of blacks and Spanish and their American Indians. Never forget that. Never forget that. Because of you, America is the greatest on this earth, man. Because of you, 
Read on. Verse 16. I command. You got that? Go to, go to Psalms. Psalms chapter 82, verse 5. Chapter 82, verse 5. America is so crooked, man. And all of his religions, all of his religions, his philosophies, everything about America is hypocrisy, man. America is the, uh, the white man is the greatest hypocrite on this planet Earth. He says it's wrong to kill, but he's bombing the, he's bombing the Arabs right now with his pair of the drones, man. He said it's wrong. He, he said, he said racism is over. Racism is not over. Go back down south. You go down south right now. There's still some racist white people. Racism is not over. The white man says that molestation is illegal. It's wrong. But go up in the Christian church. You got it. What's, what's that? If I can get that sign, Bob Gushaw. Give me, give me that child molester right there. Give me that child molester right there. Oh, don't worry about that. You can get it, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Look at this child molester, man. What does it say right here? Sex abuse. Child molestation cases. From 1950 to 2007, man. There are still child molestation in the Christian church, man. Right. It's 2014. And you're telling me that these homosexuals dressing up like ghosts? Having sex with little boys and girls? They ain't not in jail? But yeah, millions of black men are in prison right now. Millions of black men are in prison right now, man. I I in life because they selling drugs, man. 25 years because they selling coke. Cocaine, heroin. Yet the white man, he killed it. He, he put a captivity in an entire nation. Why he not in prison? Why he's not paying? You know why? Because he's the damn devil the Bible speaks of, man. This is a Native American. And that he's a Native American. That is not a Native not American. And neither is he. This proves more that the 12 tribes sign is false. This idiocy is nothing more than a piggyback job by a bunch of black racist pulpit pimps like the ISUPK and GMS and IUIC and Zabach uniting the transatlantic migration of blacks with the Native Americans and the Hispanics most of whom don't have the required paternal lineage because many of the Indians and Africans were raped by Spaniards and most of the Hispanics that are in those one west camps are Spaniards. In truth, General Yahana summed up what your religion really is in this brief clip. Nice. The black Hebrew Israelite, black Hebrew Israelite, black Hebrew Israelite. Close but no 12 tribes. General Yahana, that man probably isn't Amy more than 6% Native American at the most. And that's the doctrine General Yahana champions. How are you going to have people take UPK seriously even if your camps are still 98% black guys and the token pure Torican of the lightest skin complexion, never a black Puerto Rican, and a black guy that claims a tiny bit of native ancestry while eight of the other tribes are not even represented, not at UPK, not at GMS or IUIC or at Zabak's camp or anywhere else. That's mainly because many of One West's original seven heads were of partial but not full native decent themselves and that Ababi Beds adopted the doctrine by visiting native reservations on his way to New York from the southeast presumably inspired by the Mormon false doctrine that the Indians were the lost tribes of Israel and hip-hop music. The need to emphasize just hip-hop music. Well General Yahana, not all 12 tribes are into hip-hop music. Why not salsa? Why not jazz? Why not R&B? Why not Native American chants? Because although you hold that open door to rice and beans you close it on the other parts of the supposed 12 tribes culture. Command the 12 tribes to uphold the hip-hop culture, when a lot of the ills of the black and Hispanic communities came from the hip-hop culture that gangsta rap pants sagging of the behinds thug gang rape nigger culture. That's what you hold in high esteem. General Yahana, this is the home of the truth, a place where the doctrine is about black this and that.
Yahoo Bahashim Yahoo Ashai, I am Elder Barrett from the ISUPK North Dakota camp, the home of the truth since 1969. General Yahana, I have three words for you. One, unfit you are an unfit teacher using exegesis to appeal to blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, while leaving the real salvation out, demoting our Lord and Savior and making him what he is not. To humble you need to humble yourself step down and disband your satanic, arrogant and unbiblical UPK organization and join the real body of Christ. Repent that's right repent repent and repent to the one true Lord Jesus Christ and come to him and apologize for your blasphemy and false teachings. Do these things now or you will have to make an account of them on his day of judgment. Get ready General Yahana. Repent or perish forever in hell. Come to Jesus.